Mike here with you, and I'm about to unbox the brand new Pro X D DJ Media Workstation. Now, this is a complete stand that folds out, sets up, allows you to set your gear right on top of it, your laptops, your microphones, your controllers. What I really like about this stand is after watching the videos on it, it sets up very quickly, very easily, comes with its own carry bag, and it comes with two scrims a black one and a white one to hide everything behind it. So no need for a facade, so that it eliminates one more piece of gear you have to carry and set up. With the white scrim, you can still put your LED up lights on the floor behind it to backlight and illuminate, just like you would with a white facade. But once again, one less piece to carry. Now I looked at other stands, um, and they all had holes in them. You had to buy different pieces to put on there and I wasn't too sold on the setup. While the Pro X DJ Media Workstation also comes with, it already comes in a black finish, so it's not silver, so it's matte black, powder coated already, so you don't have to go through the extra step if you want to minimize the look of it. It also comes with two light stands that you can attach to either corner. Now I know for weddings you may want to not want to put the light stands above you to have the lights, but if you're doing a prom or you're doing some other type of school event, it's actually very convenient because now I don't have to carry two T-bars. I can quickly mount these poles on either end, hang a couple of lights, and I'm all set up for a teen dance or a school dance. Even a Sweet 16, you can modernize the look if you're doing black lights, laser lights, hanging a projector or a monogram. So the versatility was right there with it. It eliminates the need for carrying different pieces of gear. So we're gonna unbox this and see what's inside. So I already took the liberty of using my box cutter to kind of start some cups, uh, cuts on the box. So one of the things I really liked about it is it's designed in the USA. Maybe not totally manufactured, but it's designed in the USA. That's important. So uh, order this came in three days from UPS Ground. Cut the outer box and on the inside is another box. That looks exactly like the outer box, but just a little smaller. I already cut into the inner box. As you can see, it comes in this really nice heavy-duty nylon zip case. The case has siding and stuff, so it doesn't collapse. Uh, we're going to open this up and look at all the pieces that are inside. It comes in this great carry bag. The net weight on this is about 55 pounds. But when you think about it, if you're carrying two light stands, you're carrying your facades, can weigh 40, 50 pounds alone, plus a DJ table and all your gear. Uh, to have a bag like this that I can slide right in my truck, minivan, uh, a car, uh, and instantly have a, a cool workstation, that is a big plus. Saves a lot of space. So I'm gonna move these boxes, we're gonna open this up and see what's inside. So I've taken everything out of the bag, removed the boxes, tried to keep my living room clean so my wife doesn't get upset, that's key. And inside, very, very simple instructions. It's one sheet. It's this one sheet, this thing goes together in like five minutes when you get that set up. So if you're bringing a DJ table and a facade and putting all that out and your lights stand, you know, this is gonna take less time to do that. It's one piece, one bag, will go right on your DJ card that you used to wheel in and out or you can carry it. So these are the instructions. Very easy setup. No bolts, no screws, everything goes together. The only screws there are are for the TV mount, which is another main reason I bought this. Uh, at many of my events, especially with kids, sweet 16s, even weddings, they want a slideshow. It's really convenient to be able to have a flat screen TV that you can mount right on the front of your uh, equipment. Very hard to do when you're using a facade. You have to use a separate TV stand, which is another piece of gear. But this, you can have your flat screen TV, which uh, I was just at Walmart the other day, and 55 inch screen TVs, 55 inch flat screen LED, 4K TVs, $400. $400, some of the cheaper ones I saw were around 300. For a 55 inch flat screen TV, this setup accommodates up to a 65 inch flat screen. So to show you what was in the bag, several pieces. We have two bigger pieces here, which are your main shelf. These two pieces just slide together with little locks, twist locks, so no screws, anything. You slide the pieces in, use the twist locks to lock them together. This is your main workstation shelf. As you can tell, pretty much almost two feet deep. So any size Odyssey case or Gator case that you're using, 
for your controller should fit right on top of there. It's got pre-mounted holes, uh, pre-set holes in there to drop your wires right through for cable management. Cable management is key. Keep everything nice and neat and easy when you're running your wires. Two more smaller pieces. Top shelf. Put right on. And what's nice is uh, if you don't want to use your laptop, many of us have glide style controller cases, which is great for your laptop and stuff. But I find sometimes my laptop gets a little hot, uh, so you want to vent it better. With this, you can take the glide shelf off your controller case, or if you're not using a glide thing, put your laptop right on the top shelf, run your cables right through. But because of all the little holes, uh, it's not going to slide and it's going to get better ventilation, keep your laptops running a lot, lot cooler. So this is the top shelf, once again, slides right in. It's got the hooks right on the end. These hooks just go right onto the bar, into this big piece. And this big piece right here, this is your stand. It comes folded in the bag list just like this with all the hinges on it. One thing I noticed that there was a zip tie on there that I had to cut off, but then I noticed two straps. Don't cut the straps. These are Velcro straps. And you want to save these so at the end of the night you can put them on, one at the top, one at the bottom, and just to keep this from opening and closing on you. So don't cut your Vel Velcro straps when you take it out of the box. Save those to uh, secure the unit at the end of your events. Watch this. One step. That took 0.3 seconds to open up. Next, put the two shelves together. Put your bottom shelf uh, slide those in together, put it on the bottom, screw it tight, top shelf goes on, and now you have your unit like this. Uh, and that would be the setup there. I'll put that together to show you what it looks like. But then also inside the bag are three other bags. One bag has your black scrim. Nice sturdy bag with a nice heavy duty zipper on top to keep your, your scrim nice and clean. And the other bag has your white scrim. So a nice white scrim, machine washable, it's the lycra stretchy stuff. So white scrim, so you got two bags, one with the black scrim, scrim, one with the white scrim. And then the third bag, this is your TV mount. So this does require some assembly. It comes with the mounting bracket. You have to, you know, put it together, but you, what you have to do too is you have to match it up to this back of the TV you're using. So different model TVs, you're going to set the bracket up just a little bit different to line up with your, your mounting points in the back so but that's you know if you do this at home put a TV on the wall this is, if I, once you have it set for your TV you, you set it and forget it just attach it that's going to go on right here in the front the TV bracket mounts right here there are already pre-drilled holes that you put the bolts through to secure that so if you are using a TV it's only a couple of minutes just to attach the bracket and hang your TV if you're not then you just put your scrim on and run with it you're, you're ready to rock and roll for your set. So I'm going to put the shelves together and then show you what it looks like with the shelves and a screen. So here it is, the Pro X uh, Mobile DJ Media Stand. Uh, also, that took me about three minutes, literally, to, uh, if I was taking it out of the bag, to pop open the stand, put the shelves together, put them on, and then and put and put the scrim on. I went with the white scrim just so I could stick some up lights behind it, just to kind of show what the effect is for that. I'm going to grab the camera and show you a look behind the table. But, Super minimal. It looks just like you have a facade. This thing is rock solid sturdy with the shelves on. It's heavy. It's not going anywhere. Huge workspace. I'm going to show you to put your controller on. And like I said, if you want to run your laptop right up here, you got these nice vintage shelves to keep it nice and cool. Uh, plenty of holes for cable management to run the cables. Uh, so we'll show you that. So here's a look right around. The scrim is nice and stretchy, and the reason it has zippers in the front, the zippers are for the TV mount, so you just unzip the zippers. There's one at the top and the bottom, so you can just leave a little space in the center to put the TV mount on, hang your TV right on the front here, and still backlight it with some up lights behind it. So coming right around, as you can see, huge, nice, clean workspace. The scrim attaches to the top and bottom so it comes nice and tight. Um, you know, obviously using the white one, use it indoors. Outside, use the black one. You don't want to get it too dirty. But the uplights fit right underneath. Tons of room to even to hide your, your rock and roller cart, uh, your other gear and bags. No one will see them hidden down there underneath. Keeps everything really uh, nice and tight. 
It's going to shelves just lay right over. Uh, you're probably supposed to put this under the screen, but j just to keep it in place. So, you know, people lean and stretch everything. I put the shelf over it just to keep the scrim from sliding. Um, but you get your holes for your cable management. Nice vented top. Look at the depth of this uh, main shelf. Uh, literally almost two feet deep. Plenty of room for a controller on the side to put your drink, your microphone, your headset, uh, your paperwork for your events on your clipboard. And then we have the pieces of the stand. So very common uh, TV mounting bracket. It's got bolts. On each side, I'm actually going to click on my little light here. To, there we go. Um, this is my new Smart Scene uh, video kit for the smartphones by Movo Photo. It was 99 bucks. It's got an LED light. It's got a condenser mic on the top. So when you're speaking front, back, side to side, it picks up everything. So here's the main bracket for your TV stand. You have the four poles, which obviously take the bolts off. They mount on diagonally, depending which type of TV you're using. It also has this type of mount. So if you're using a smaller TV or something a little different, this, uh, this wire would go right around the back here. And then the holes are already pre-drilled to mount to mount this in here and you have all your different types of bolts so these are actually thumb screws in here so the twist knob screws so they go in and out super quick um, so w w with uh, wing nut screws as well so in other words you, you don't need any wrenches that's the big thing no tools I used no tools to put this together all the shelves once you slide them together go with these little twisty clips Right here to spin it tight. Uh, I would say, you know, you just go snug with those. Don't over tighten them. It doesn't, once the shelves are together, it's not going anywhere. So just snug them up uh, so, so they do not snap. But you have uh, four of those, two for the top shelf, two for the bottom shelf. But you can see very clean, plenty of workspace. I'm trying to give you a back angle. Plenty of room there. Fit some up lights underneath. Looks really neat, clean and minimal. And like I said, the cool thing, you can hang up to a 65 inch TV on the front of this. 65 inch flat screen can be mounted right on the front of this. Look how minimal that is. Super clean, out of the bag to set up like that with the scrim on it, less than three minutes. I hope you like this tutorial of the Pro X DJ Media Workstation. I was happy to share it with you. I'm very excited to get to use this at my next event. I'm going to practice working with it downstairs, setting up my gear just to see how the feel of it is. But I think it's going to be a big hit, make my life easier, which is a big plus. Less gear to carry, still look very uh, professional and uh, nice at events. So I'm DJ Mad Mike. I write for Mobile Beat Magazine, so check out my articles every month and my online Mobile Beat Magazine blog. Any questions? Reach out to me, MikeCMobileBee at gmail.com, MikeCMobileBee at gmail.com. Like and share, like and share, and uh, see you soon.